So, by the sweet will of our Gurudev, we will find quotes of Chaitanya Charit Amrita in different kind of scriptures like Vilap Kusumanjali. So today we will finish Vilap Kusumanjali, the last three quotes I have here. And then we will go to Radharasa Sudanidi and look there what kind of quotes are there in which connection. So the next quote I found in Vilap Kusumanjali is from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila 4 and quoted is verse 212 and 214 and if someone wants to follow it's verse number 94 and in my book it's 349 is the page so but first see what is the theme and then go to the quote So in Swarupa Veshi Raghunadas prays, Ai Sashimuki, O moon faced girl, after you finished your intense amorous battle with the Lord of your life, you dropped your beloved waist belts. And when you came out of the kunj, you released. I don't have them anymore. Will you send me back to the kunj with a hint to get them for you? Why are these waist belts so dear to Swamini? because they make Shyamsundara very happy. Whatever makes Shyamsundara happy is very dear to Sri Radharani. She doesn't care about these things for her own sake. Now comes the quote. Kopika Janena Krishnera Manera Vanchita Prema Seva Paripati Ishta Samihita Se Gopi Ghana Matye Uttama Radhika Rupeguna Sopakye Preme Sarvadika Chaitanya Charit Amrita Adilila 4 212 and 214. The Gopikas know the desires on Krishna's mind and they render their service expertly for the happiness of their beloved. Amongst the Gopis, Radhika is the greatest. Her beauty qualities, fortune and love are all supreme. So if anyone wants to give us some feelings of him, some hints, some philosophical points which are going in the way to the feelings in this connection. So you are very invited to share whatever you like to share. And of course we will be very happy when Gurudev finds the time and the inspiration to give us some hints how to deeply understand all these things.
Swamini needs the waist belts to increase Shyam's bliss at the time of dancing and to increase his erotic madness at that time of their amorous skirmishes. That's why these sweet waist belts are so dear to Swamini. Amorous pastimes have been performed long ago and the Yugala Kishore are now sitting on a jeweled throne surrounded by their sakis. For Radha and Krishna's pleasure, the sakis begin to dance and sing sweetly before their throne, playing so many musical instruments, keeping the musical time. So this is the scene. And now, Raguna, in his kinkery form, is going to get this sweet belts back. And we all know this verse, 94, he's going to get them back and give it back to Radharani. And then the next one, he will get some uh, correction by Swamini because some other gopis saw it. And then we know after that verse 69, uh, 96 is coming. Tabai was me. So we can see this connection. So it's also a very uh, interesting point actually when we see the line in which the things are happening. I have this feeling that actually this is a very a very nice point also to make clear what actually uh, how precious this seva of Radhadasis is how intimate this seva is. Because we can see now all the others come together and they sing like, you know, when you do RRT, you come together and you sing and dance. And, but there's another level, more intimate, much more intimate. So it's a very nice uh, point to meditate on that, actually. It's also a nice point if you go to RT. So again, here is underlined that actually Swamini has no, really no, not even the slightest self-interest. And her kinkris also, they are like her. They have no interest for themselves. So that's why Actually, these waist belts are so dear to Swamini because they serve in the Morris pastimes, her beloved. And he will miss them if they are not there. So it's needed that they come back to Swamini. Otherwise, she will be not 100% prepared to serve her beloved because something is missing. So, what a wonderful savor. 
What an intimate seva. Although from outside, just some bells. So this was the first quote from Chaitanya Charit Amrita of the last three quotes I found in Sri Sri Vilap Kusamanjali. This was in connection with verse number 94. Now the next quote I found is in verse number 101. And then there will be only one more and Vilap Kusumanjali will run out of Chaitanya Charitamrita quotes in this connection. So Rata's beauty and sweetness is unrivaled. Why? Because she is the quint essence of Brahma, Mahabhav. And what does that mean? We had just an example. We had a wonderful example. Her waist belts are just there to serve her beloved. Her whole existence is just there to serve her beloved. Her whole existence is Mahabha. In Brahma, she is Krishna Mai. She is filled with Krishna. In Rasa, spiritual flavor, she is Gorangi. In Majestri, Sarva Lakshmi Mai, the sum total of all goddesses of fortune. And in sweetness, she is the crest jewel of all the Gokas. Sri Radhika. The ground jewel of all devotee saints, Sri Shukamuni experienced her supreme glory and described her as the chief of the Gopikas in Srimad Bhagavad. What's more, even Krishna, who himself enchants millions of cupids, is enchanted by her sweet form, Jagan Mohana Krishna Tahara Mohini. And this is a quote from Chaitanya Charit Amrita. She is Jagan Mohana Krishna Tahara Mohini. So, what a wonderful point. Again, Radharani is the quintessence of Brahma, Mahabhav. In Brahma, she is Krishna Mai. That means she is completely filled with Krishna. In Rasa, in spiritual flavor, she is Gorangi. In majesty, she is Sarva Lakshmi Mai. Actually, that means also that all good qualities from Krishna 
comes forth from her. She is the source of all good qualities. And, of course, the sum total of all goddesses of fortune. And in sweetness, she is the crest jewel of all Gopikas, named Sri Radhika. And that's why this quote is coming. Jagan Mohan Krishna Tahara Mohini. She can even enchant the one who enchants all living entities. Gurudev, can you explain us what Jagan Mohan Krishna Tahara Mohini also means? We cannot hear anything right now. Radhe? Radhe, yes, Gurudev, welcome. Mm. Who attracts whole inverse? He said, Jagat means whole inverse. Mohan means attract. And Jagat Mohan, and, and, and then Mohani, Radha Rani, attracts Krishna. Read Jagan Mohan Krishna Tahara Mohini. Tahara Mohini means that Jagat Mohan who attracts whole in world and Mohini attracts to Krishna. Radhika attracts to Krishna. So, from the point of love, it is very logical that Krishna is attracted because we just heard the description of Radha. In Brahma, she is Krishna Mai. What that does that mean? What does that mean, Gurudev? Filled with Krishna. Krishna Mai means. Radhika is full of Krishna. What she see, what she listen, what she talk, what she see, only Krishna. That is Krishna mind. Nothing is out of Krishna there. Heart with Krishna. Everything with Krishna, that is Krishna way. So, because from her view there is nothing out of Krishna, everything nothing. is completely filled with Krishna. And in Rasa, spiritual flavor, she is Gaurangi Gurudev. Why that? She is Gaurangi means golden. Gaurangi, golden. Golden. So she shines very golden. Not Shama. <coughs> golden. <laughs> Krishna Mai, but golden. So, because she can serve her beloved and she's so happy to serve him, 
she shines so much golden. Can we say like that? Yeah. Full of feelings. Overflowing with feelings. And in sweetness, she is the crest jewel of all Gopikas, Sri Radhika. So, Jagan Mohan Krishna Tahara Mohini. This was the second quote. And now comes the last quote I found in Sri Vilap Kusumanjali from Chaitanya Charitamrita. And this is in verse number 102. The verse is about Varoru, nicely tight girl. And about how Ragun here aspiring after oceans of nectar. Now, if you are not merciful to me, then what is the use of my life, my living in Braj, and even Krishna to me. O Sri Rathe, young lady love of the arbors, I desire the most astonishing rasa of your maid service which is a festival of constant love at every moment and which is attained by each of the adolescent girls of Braj by your merciful clans alone. which is attained by your merciful clans alone. When will you cast the merciful clans on me? Sri Raghunath says, your mercy is causeless so sometimes I forget how unqualified I am. And I think that I will surely get your service soon. Apana ayokya deki mune pahokshobha tatapi tomare gune upajaya lobha this is the quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita. When I look at my own unworthiness, my mind becomes upset. But still, your attributes make me eager for you. When I see you in dreams, Visions and smaran, then I think I will also attain your, you personally. My life is all almost over. Who can survive this trashing? 
O merciful mistress of mine, hear my anguish. I can't tolerate any more. Hear my final prayer. I have nothing more to say. I cannot find any more words. If despite all my misery, you will still not give me your mercy, then what is the use of my life, of my living in Braj, and even of Krishna to me? Why should I continue to live without your mercy? So this is the final prayer. And this is also the final verse, the quote, from Chaitanya Charitamrita. For me, it's so astonishing that Srila Ananda Das Babaji is giving always the underlining with Chaitanya Charitamrita in such a perfect way. It's really astonishing. Because this is the last quote of Chaitanya Charit Amrita and it's the final prayer of Raghunathas. So what is the use of even Krishna to me? What is the use of living in Braj? What is the use of my life if I cannot get your mercy? And this is actually what Chaitanya Charitamrita is all about. The mercy of Mahaprabhu, the mercy of Swamini, we need and we want. And this is the only qualification we can have. The mercy of Radharani. So sometimes I forget how unqualified I am. Srila Raghunadas is writing. I mean, we all know he is a Nitya Sita Kingari. But if we read it, we can feel it. At least I, I'm completely unqualified. But the mercy of Swamini is giving all qualification. And that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give us this kind of qualification. So all you unqualified souls in Kali Yuga, I will give you qualification. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. And he's not just giving something. 
He is giving the highest, perfect, the limit of human being, the limit of service for a human being. He is giving Unat Uchvadarasa. And the qualification, the mercy of Sri Radhika. So what a presence and what a wonderful end of the quotes of Chaitanya Charitamrita in Sri Sri Vilap Kusumanjali. I desire the most astonishing rasa of your maidservice, which is a festival of constant love at every moment. And I wish to attain that what all the girls of Braj can only get through your merciful clans alone. And if I don't get it, what is the use of my life? What is the use of living in Braj? And what is even the use of Krishna for me? Jai Jai Shirati. Here it ends the quotes from Shishi Vilap Kusumanjali from Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Maybe someone wants to share some feelings or so, Guru, if you want to give us some mercy, some enlightenment more. So beautiful, you are explaining. There is no words more than that. What is the use of Krishna? You say, wow. I'm shocked. Really, this is the truth. Tattva, this is that tattva. There's no use without taking shelter of so many. We will never understand this Krishna tattva. Tattva vichar, this is the highest tattva. Then, uh, this is the foundation for going to Russia. This tattva is not clear, rasa will never come in our Death. Actually, I don't remember who who said that, but one, I think maybe it was Shiva. He said that it's actually a sin to serve Krishna without Radha's help. Somebody remembers? I was just thinking about it, but I cannot find the quote. Anyway, 
we read it already or we will read it again i'm sure because somewhere it's written here in vilap kuzu manjali or shishi radarasa soda nidi or maybe even in both So what is the use without Radha, without the mercy of Radharani? What is the use? Without the mercy of Shishir, Radharasa, Sudanidi, for example, what is the use? Without the mercy of Shishivilap Kusumanjali, without the mercy of the six Kuswamis, without the mercy which was installed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What is the use to live? No use. And that's why it's so wonderful that we come together and share and make our life useful by sharing about the themes, the topics of Radharani. Like, like Radharasa Sudanidi, where we can understand her most perfectly by the description of Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati. And we will start, and this is also such a wonderful point, that Shishi Radharasa Sudanidi actually starts with Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Because it starts with, I offer my obeisances unto Lord Gaura Chandra, who is surrounded by all his associates and whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that mock the beauty of blue-summing kadamba flowers. It begins with such a wonderful description. I offer my obeisances unto Lord Gaurachandra, who is surrounded by all his associates, and whose body, the body of Lord Gaurachandra, is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that mock the beauty of blossoming Kadamba flowers. He raises his arms repeatedly and loudly crying, Hurry, hurry, as he dances and sings, showering the surface of the earth with cascades of tears. What a wonderful picture. The love of Radharani is shining out of Gora Chandra. Her emotions are coming out of him. Tears of her love for Krishna streaming out of his eyes in ecstasy. He's distributing the highest form of Brahmaras. And he's coming like that. So Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is beginning his book by offering obeisances unto that Lord Gorachandra. What a wonderful beginning. Sripad Prabodananda Saraswati is the object of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's great mercy. So his mind and heart are always absorbed in the sweet pastimes, attributes and sentiments 
of Srimati Radharani in Braj. Again, what a wonderful beginning. Srila Ananda Das Babaji is right going into the middle, diving completely deep inside, immediately. What a sentence! Sripad Prabodhananda Saraswati is the object of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's great, great mercy. Otherwise, how he could give us this mercy if he would be not the object of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's great mercy? It's not just mercy, it's great mercy. So because Prabodhananda Saraswati is the object of Mahaprabhu's mercy, his mind has to be and his heart has to be always absorbed in that sweet pastimes and in the attributes and, of course, in the sentiments of Srimati Radharani in Braj. Now he begins his delicious book of eager prayer named Radha Rasa Sudha Nidhi. Out of compassion for the devotees who aspire for the confidential service of Srimati Radharani's lotus feet. Exactly in the point, out of compassion, the compassion of Mahaprabhu is coming through Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati true Radharasa Sudhanidhi, to all the devotees who aspire for the confidential service of Srimati Radharani's wonderful lotus feet. In this verse he praises his worshipable deity Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Vraj Vihari Sri Krishna accepted the mood and complexion of Sri Radha and became Gaura to fulfill three desires. To understand the greatness of Radha's love, the wonderful qualities that she alone relishes in him and the happiness she feels when she realizes the sweetness of his love. In Vrindavan Lila, Krishna was the witness of the sweetness of Sri Radha's love, of which he himself was the object. And in Gora Lila, he accepted the mood and luster of Sri Radha to understand the gravity of her love. In the opening verse of this book, Radharasa Sudhanidhi, Sripad Prabodhananda Saraswati draws a beautiful picture of how the full transcendental truths of Raj, Sri Krishna, experienced the sweetness of Radha's emotions. Here Sripad follows the custom in the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition 
to praise Lord Gora before commencing the description of Sri Sri Radha Madhava's sweet pastimes. This is called Gora Chandrika. In his book Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita, uh, Chant Amrita 88, Sri Pat writes, Yata Yata Gora Padara Vinde Vindeta Bhaktim Grita Punyara Sihi Tata Tato Charpati Ridya Kasmat Rata Padamboja su, uh, Sudhambu Rasihi. When a, fall, a very fortunate soul, a very fortunate soul, experiences devotion for Lord Gora's lotus feet, the nectar ocean from Rata's lotus feet suddenly floods his heart. Again, when a very fortunate soul experiences devotion for Lord Gora's lotus feet, the nectar ocean from Radha's lotus feet suddenly floods his heart. Sri Gora Sundara has brought an unprecedented torch of Braj Ras, whose bright effulgence shows the devotees the way to the sweet bhajan of Sri Brindavan, which is otherwise hard to see. And along with the sweet transcendental Bracharasa, Mahaprabhu introduced himself to the devotees of this world. Sri Vasu Gosh thinks Yadi Gora Nahoto Kimene Hoito Kemune Daritam De Radhara Mahima Prema Rasa Sima Jagate Janato Ke. If Gora had not come, how would the world have been? Who would have thought, taught the world the greatness of Radha and the limit of Premarasa? So if Gora would not have come, what the world would have been? Who would have thought the were the greatness of Radha and the limit of Prema Rasa. Also wonderful, just two sentences and everything is inside. So without Radharani's mercy, what the world would have been? Without Radharani's mercy, what a soul like me, completely fallen in ignorance? What chance I would have to understand the real nature the real nature of the sweet Krishna served by our Swamini, Radhika. No chance we would have been completely bereft of this chance. So fortunately,
we got this present. Who would have shown the way to enter into the sweetness of Brindavan? And the anxious mood of the young girls of Braj. The only way to extinguish the burning sensation of the threefold material misery with a nectar stream of love for Sri Sri Radha Govinda is the mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu. The only way. Gurudev, yeah. Mercy of misery of material one. Such if a mercy. I not want to understand the mercy, then misery of material world is ready for us. Kono kono vagyaman bhuste pare means is written by the Rasiga. Some fortunate soul can understand what is mercy and what is misery of material. Kono kono vagyaman. Some fortunate soul can understand. Bhakyavana Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasad, Mukti Lata Beach. Yeah, Bhagavan Jeev. We use small seed, small subject. Seed is a very small thing. But the seed is making the plant. That seed we are missing in our life. The plant is not growing inside me. That seed is not useful. What I got it, I am not put right water and fertilizer so it's not growing. Seed died. Lata is not coming. Lata means the plants. Bhakti Lata Beach. Bhakti is not going. So then I have to ask the best gardener. And the representative of the best gardener. But we not accept the gardener. We want to be a myself gardener. <laughs> We don't want to give the garden in the handover to the garden. Rather than hand over garden to Krishna. Now you are the garden. You take care of it. We have to ask someone who knows how to do it. Yeah, right. And the best is a person who has this seed is planting the seed and fertilizing. In, and a man, in Europe, they say green thumb. Who has a green thumb, they can be a good gardener. <laughs> green thumb. A green thumb. Yes, Gurudev, you have a very, very green thumb, maybe a golden thumb. You're fertilizing a lot of ground and you made so much seeds and they are growing nicely, we can see.
And I know you have a good fertilizer. I think it's from Nitai Company, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's with Radha Shakti. No. <laughs> Yes, and we were happy that you actually were sent by Nitai with all these uh, seeds to around the world and spread it. So in this way, we also get some mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Although in my case, I cannot take care of this blend, I'm completely unqualified, but here and there, it's possible to take some advice from you. It's the responsibility of Gardner, not to our. We are like a monkey. We will destroy the garden, but Gardner <laughs> <laughs> we will even rip the false plant out. So lucky that we have this best gardener. <laughs> if Gora had not come, how would the world have been? Who would have thought the world the greatness of Radha and the limit? Of Prema Rasa. Wow. And Nitai is the perfect gardener helping us. Who would have shown the way to enter into the sweetness of Vrindavan and the anxious mood of the young girls of Braj? So and later on here is also again, this is confirmed in Chaitanya Charit Amrita, another point. Tahimukya Rasashraya Hoyashen Mahashaya Tate Hoy Sarva Bhavodoy. The Lord had become the main shelter of his own rasa, and so all ecstasies arose in him. Sripat sweetly depicts how Sri Goranga's body displayed the unrivaled ecstasies derived from relishing the sweetness of Radha's rasa within himself by saying Ninantang pulakot karena Vikashanipa Prashuna Chabim. His body was beautified by goose pimples that mocked freshly blossoming Kadamba flowers. Mahaprabhu's body manifested Udipta Sattvika Bhavas. 
Srila Rupa Goswami says in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, when five or six sattvika ecstasies simultaneously arise to the great uh, to the greatest extent and they are called udipta again shripad says he lifts his arms and loudly chants hurry hurry this is an anubhav called kroshana Srila Rupa Goswami says in Bhakti Ras Amrita Sindhu Anubhavas tu chittasya bhavanam avabodakaha uh, Activities that awaken certain moods in the heart are called Anubhava. When Rati is relished within the heart, it will be externally manifest. The echo of Mahaprabhu's loud chanting of Harinam immersed all the moving and non-moving creatures in the taste of love of Krishna. So we can here clearly see the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He immersed everyone in the love for Krishna. So, in which mood? <laughs> Who can immerse others in the love for Krishna, if not Radha? It is said without her it's not possible. So she can immerse everyone, every living entity, in the love, in that kind of prema. Because she is the source, she is the quint essence of love for Krishna. And it is said that even stones were chanting and melting in that love. So I have a good chance that my stone-like heart will also melt one day. Tu me ye koriyacho ucha sankitana stavara a stavara changamera se hoyoto shavana sunite changamera samsara hoikshaya stavare se shaptalage tate pratitvani hoy pratitvani na hese koro ye kirtana Tomara Kripoi e Akantya Katana. Chaitanya Chart Amita Anja Lila Chapter 3. All the moving and non moving creatures have heard your loud chanting. Hearing it, all the moving creatures were liberated from material existence. And after the non-moving creatures hear it, there is an echo. It's actually not an echo. It is the chanting of these non-moving creatures. All these indescribable things are possible by your mercy. Which mercy? The mercy of our Swamini. 
coming through Mahaprabhu. This is the qualification. We can hear it melts stones. Even stones are echoing like my heart. It's not chanting out of love. It's just echoing the chanting of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and other devotees. But this heart will melt if I put it again and again in this sound by associating with all of you, by getting the mercy of Gurudev and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our stone-like heart, my stone-like heart will melt. Mahaprabhu dances with restless feet and sprinkles the earth with his tears. Such a wonderful picture. He's dancing with restless feet. He's not stopping. He's completely enthusiastically spreading that love to everyone. This is our good luck. And the earth is drenched with the tears, with the prema rasa, the highest prema rasa. What a good luck! The Patakarta, the singer, Rai Shekhar, describes the sweet dancing of Sri Gora Sundara and his associates as follows. Madura, Madura, Gora Kishora, Madura, Mid Madura Nat. Madura, Madura, Saba Sahajara, Madura, Madura, Ha. How sweet, how sweet is Gora Kishore, the youthful golden Lord Chaitanya. How sweet is his dancing. How sweet are his associates. Madura Madura Medanga Bajata Madura Madura Tan Madura Rase Matala Bakata Gaoye Madura Gan How sweetly the drums are playing How sweet is their rhythm How sweetly the devotees are mad in it by transcendental mellows, and how sweetly they sing. Madura, Helana, Madura, Dolana, Madura, Madura, Gati, Madura, Madura, Vajana, Sundara, Madura, Madura, Bhati. How sweetly he moves, how sweetly he swings, and how sweet are his steps. How sweet are his beautiful words, and how sweet is his radiance. Immediately when we hear this description, we can see Radharani dancing, isn't it? What sweet steps! How sweetly she is blazing her feet on the ground. How soft! 
how sweet she swings. How sweet she moves. And this is the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And all the associates with him. What a wonderful, sweet picture we get here. Madura Adhara Jini Shashadhara Madura Madura Has Madura Arati Madura Piriti Madura Madura Bhas How sweet are his lips and how sweet are his smiles that defeat the sweetness of the moon. How sweet is his eagerness. How sweet is his love. And how sweet are his words. Again, we hear the description of Radharani's qualities. Madura Yugala Nayana Ratula Madura Inkite Jai Madura Bremera Madura Bhadhare Vanchita Shekara Roy How sweetly his reddish eyes are making sweet hints. Unfortunately, Roy Shekara is deprived of this sweet love. While Mahaprabhu dances, his eyes manifest the sattvika ecstasy of Ashru. In Chaitanya Charit Amrita, it is described how Mahaprabhu manifested this ecstasy while dancing before the chariot of Lord Jagannath. And again we hear about the reddish eyes making sweet hints. Like Radharani's eyes. And now we hear of the manifestation of this ecstasy while dancing before the chariot of Lord Jagannath. Tears were flowing from his eyes like fountains sprinkling all the people that stood around, showering everyone. Radharani's eyes are just seeing one thing. Krishna in full Mahabhav and these tears are transporting Exactly that feeling. Everyone who get one of these drops, one of these tears, will immediately be uh, taken away. <laughs> this sattvika transformation is so wonderful that one may ask, does the Ganga water that normally flows from his Lord Vishnu's or in that point Sriman Mahaprabhu's lotus feet now flow from his eyes? We know Vishnu is giving the Ganga water And it's flowing from his lotus feet. Is this Ganga water now flowing from his eyes? This is the question. Apani kori asvadane 
शिक्काइल भक्ता गाने ब्रेमा चिंता मानीरा प्रभु धानी The Lord not only taught the world about Brahma, He also gave a splendid example of how to relish its flavors. The Lord is the wealthy owner of the Chintamani gem of Brahma. The people of the world will be blessed with initiation into the mantra of Brahma by voluntarily selling themselves to the lotus feet of that sweetly, blissfully dancing and chanting Sri Gora. Even the stones melt when they remember how sweetly Lord Gora dances and how he rolls on the ground like a golden mountain. So what wonderful points here. We can get it. But mercifully, Spamini is giving us the way how to relish it, how to relish these flavors. Because what is the use if you have something but you cannot relish its flavors? What's the use? What's the use of Krishna without Radha? If you cannot relish the flavors, what's the use? And this is a wonderful point which Sri Raghunath made on the end of Vilap Kusumanjali. We just heard the Chaitanya Amrita quote. What's the use of Krishna? If Radharani is not giving us the way how to relish these flavors, means in Sevaras. In Sevaras. The highest relish of Radhika, the most expert in Seva, is giving us the relish. Otherwise, what's the use? Relishing means realization. It's not philosophy. It's not theory. Relish means I have to be there in to relish, feel it. Without be there, I cannot relish. And that's why we cannot relish this without the Guru who is giving us the possibility of this relishment. It's not possible. Somebody is giving you something which you don't know, it's very relishable, but you don't know how to relish it. <laughs> what are you doing with it? You need someone who is showing you how to relish it, because he knows how to relish it and he will show you. And it's not just knowledge, no. By showing you, you will relish it and you will taste it. This is practice. And by this practice, you will get the whole picture. And 
this is actually the astonishing mercy we get. We not just get theory. No, the most precious thing we get is the practice, the praxis. We can really immediately feel it if we just let ourselves fall into that mercy drown in the mercy. And even by that, Nitai has to help us <laughs> to really drown. The Lord is the wealthy owner of the Chintamani gem of Brahma. And Radharani is the Chintamani gem of Brahma. And she owns the owner of the Chintamani gem of Brahma. And this combined form is here, Mahaprabhu, giving us this Chintamani gem of Brahma. What a wonderful situation. The people of the world will be blessed with initiation into the mantra of Brahma. This is also such a wonderful point, isn't it, Gurudev? Right. They get initiation into the mantra of Brahma. Yeah. <laughs> and the only thing they have to do, voluntarily selling themselves to the lotus feet of that sweetly blissful dancing and chanting Sri Gora, which means voluntarily we are selling ourselves to the lotus feet of Radha. Even the stones melt when they remember how sweetly Lord Gora dances and how he rolls on the ground like a golden mountain. Just to remember, this is the beginning of Shishi Radha Rasa Sudanidi. It begins exactly with that. What a wonderful start, isn't it? Because it's giving the essence in front through Gora Lila, before going in the essence of Radharani, of her Brahma, of her her lilas and her sweetness, her qualities and so on. All glories to Sri Gora Chandra, who gives joy to the world. Joy means Ananda. The only joy for the soul is Ananda. And Ananda is only there where Ratha Mahabhav meets with Krishna. So the giver of Ras and the, uh, how you say, Empfänger? 
Huh? Sim. Sim. The receiver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Meeting. And only there is Ananda. So Gora Chandra is giving us this Ananda out of a special situation because he's coming in a special mood. And he is giving us the highest Ananda. He is the moon, Goramandala, the holy circle around Navadvip, and whose body is studded with goose pimples of ecstasy that are as wonderful as blooming kadamba flowers. Puna, puna, bahu tuli, uchai sware hari boli, nache gora natana shutama, nichara nayana dhara, sinchana koriya gora, Abhishikta Koila Dhara Dhama. How nicely Gora Mahaprabhu dances, repeatedly lifting his arms and loudly chanting Hari Hari. A stream of tears flow from Gora's eyes and sprinkles the surface of the earth. Saparshade Gora Hari Kirtane Darshana Kori Puna Puna Koriya Pranama Sripat Prabhupada Ananda Arambila Rasa Kranta Rata Rasa Sudanidi Nam Thus Sripad Prabodhananda Saraswati begins his Rasika book named Radha Rasa Sudhanidi by offering his repeated obeisances to Lord Gora Hari and his associates and witnessing his Kirtan pastimes. Mangala Charana Shloka Shravane Smarane Shukka Bhakta Kori Parama Sampat Guru Pada Patmarenu Bhushana Koriya Tanu Chanda Kori Goya Haripat. This verse serves the auspicious invocation of this book. It is the highest wealth of all the devotees and it makes them happy by remembering and hearing it, decorating his body with the dust of his Guru's lotus feet, Haripat sings these poetical songs. What a wonderful beginning! Amazing! The first verse of Shishi Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. And what a wonderful transmission from the last verse of Vilap Kusumanchali into the first verse of Shishi Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. Very nicely connected. Wonderful. So, I think we can stop here for today. We had so much nectar and we had the mercy of Gurudev. So, I guess our hearts are completely filled. Guravani, 
it was like like come from one ocean to another ocean <laughs> and uh, in the beginning it was tsunami of the, <laughs> of the feelings of goranga mahaprabhu is uh, is really amazing if i can say just few feelings like if i can express my feeling it was really so intense i i never in my life feel so intense uh feeling uh also because of the verses but also because of association associations uh it was really sankirtan uh, it was really mm, some of these drops of the tears of mahaprabhu it's come to us but uh, from the lotus feet of our gurus because uh, we can see that his tears his singing and his dancing of goranga mahaprabhu it's coming just now for us and i must ex express really my gratitude to gurudev and to all of you because this is his mercy he give this plant to all of us and uh, now we use all of us like sankirtan movement this is sankirtan moving if this joy is this joy of sankirtan movement also one thing comes to me uh during the lecture the, during the reading this wonderful verses uh before we said that uh, a name of radharani one of the name is the krishna mai so she is full of krishna full of desire to serve krishna and she come uh in gora lila to serve krishna in this form of goranga so she come and she is full of krishna and krishna is there to accept her feelings so he accept in that moment he is full of radharani so radharani who is full of krishna come and he is full of radharani and he is in the between just uh, just shocked just just to feel everything so this is again this example of gurudev when he said that uh, goranga mahaprabhu is like the sandwich <laughs> to rather to rather run in between is here uh and uh, also when uh, goranga mahaprabhu was chanting and dancing uh, this rhythm actually is uh, we, we see the rhythm of rather and this uh, um this chanting actually this is radharani but also i feel i feel one thing that uh, goranga mahaprabhu is here in the mood of manjari because uh, when uh, he want to become conscious of krishna uh, of of feeling of radharani you know and he is calling hari hari so this is the mood his disciple here of radharani so is in the mood of manjari when he is chanting actually this is not radharani who is chanting this is manjari who are chanting and they are uh, otherwise he cannot feel that so this this feeling comes to me when other living on on the non living entity hear this chanting actually they hearing the chanting of the manjari so he became immediately manjaris and uh, th this this feelings come to me also the, during the lecture dayanini you are also an ocean of ras jaho jaho gurudev yeah it was so intense gurudev I never in my life have such a intense feeling like today it it's actually it is always when Gorawani is is here Gorawani <laughs> the Gorawani is the Gorawani Gorawani is coming 
This is the mercy of Gurudev. His 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 vision what the person should be is really coming somehow even the most useless person like me somehow it becomes true his vision becomes true somehow i don't i don't know how how he's doing when i hear my mouth talking i'm always again and again surprised it's not my mouth actually uh, it's it's my mouth but it's not my voice actually it's yeah. his, his shakti coming so thank you very much for sharing your feelings and taking Thank you so much, Goravan. It was beautiful as always. Churning the nectar. Churning the needy. Thank you, Diane. Thank you all. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you all. My God. Jai Sri Radhe. Jai Gurudev. Every day is a special. Jai Radhe. Very special. Very special. Yeah, yeah.